Hi, I'm Ashley from The Loopy Lamb, and thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to do the corner to corner stitch. So for today's tutorial, we'll be using this Burnett Premium Yarn in the color uh, Sky Blue. This is a size four medium weight yarn. And I'll be also using this 5.5 uh, millimeter furls crochet hook. Let's grab our yarn and our, we'll get started. So we're just going to do a small corner to corner swatch in a single color. And I'll show you how to start the project how to increase and how to decrease. Okay, so to start, you're going to do a slip knot, okay, and place that on your hook, like so, and then you're going to do a chain six, okay, so yarn over hook through the chain. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so you now have six chains and we're going to place a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four. So yarn over hook under both the back loop and the back bar, yarn over hook, pull through the loop or chain, sorry, yarn over hook, pull through two loops. You'll have two loops remaining, yarn over hook, and through both loops. So the first set of chains that you skipped, that will count as your first double crochet, and then um, this will be your second. So then we'll um, double crochet in the remaining two stitches, our chains. So we'll yarn over hook into the chain, yarn over through the chain, yarn over hook through the first two loops, yarn over hook, and through the last two. There's your next double crochet completed. And we'll go into the last chain here, yarn over hook, into the last chain, yarn over hook, through the chain, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you'll see you'll have four double crochets because that uh, the three skip chains will count as your first double crochet. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So then we're going to turn our work and we're going to chain six. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So you've got your six chains and you're going to double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, and four. Just pinch that chain so we don't forget. Yarn over into that chain. Now assume that you've got the hang of the double crochets now. Um, we're going to double crochet in the next two chains as well. Once again, we're creating a little block of four double crochet stitches. I'm going to explain a few things about corner to corner once I've got this uh, row, row done. Okay, so we've got these two blocks of four double crochet and we're going to go into the space here between the chain and the first double crochet and create a slip stitch to join them together. So into that chain space, yarn over, pull through the loop and there you go. So you've joined those together and you're going to chain two. Now you can also do a chain three if that's your preference, but as we get going, um, you might find that you have a bit of a gap when you're joining into this chain space when you have a chain three. Um, so I like to do uh, chain two in these these um, in on the internal blocks inside the blanket or project. So we're going to work inside this chain space here to create another four double crochet block. So we're going to yarn over 
into the chain uh, around the uh, post of your chain create three double crochets because that chain two will count as your first double crochet okay so we've got four double crochets here and four double crochets here and we're going to turn our work now before we go to the next step I want I wanted to get to this point before I explained more about this stitch so your first set of four double crochets created what is effectively the first corner of your project right so when we started it was like this right so here's your your starting chain here um, the tail from your chain and there's your first uh, three double crochets and then here's your chain space or your chain that created your fourth double crochet and then we increased by adding a, a block or a tile on either side of that corner so um, when you're reading a, a pattern or you're reading a chart you'll see um, there will be there should be an, a legend that will say each block on the graph equals one block or one tile and and one of these four double crochets um, blocks is what they're referencing when they say um, one tile or one block or in my patterns I like to call them double crochet clusters um, so um, we've increased in our second row from one block to two blocks okay and so to increase again we're going to repeat what we did in row two but now we're going to have three uh, double crochet clusters or tiles in our our third row and I'll show you how to do that so we're going to turn our work and we're going to chain six again one two three, four, five, oops, sorry, and six. So we're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So yarn over into that fourth chain from the hook and double crochet. Remembering that, that those first three skip chains will count as your first double crochet. And we're gonna double crochet in the remaining two chains of our chains. So yarn over hook into the chain, double crochet, yarn over into the next chain, and create our next double crochet. Sorry, I'm just going to move my yarn. It's a little tangled there. And so once again, we are going to have to join this loose tile to the rest of the project. And to do that, we're going to go in between the chain two and the first double crochet. So we put an insert a hook between those two and slip stitch together. Okay, so now that's joined to your project. To create our next block, we are going to chain two, one, two. And then we're going to place uh, three double crochets in addition to your chain two for a total of four double crochets around these chains okay so um, I sometimes refer to this as the chain space so we're going to place three double crochets into that space so one two and three and then once again, because we've got this loose block here, to join it, we're going to slip stitch into the next chain space. Okay. And so now we're going to add a third block to this, this row. And we'll go one, two, we're gonna chain up two and place three more double crochets into this chain space here. So yarn over and into the chain space. There's one, two, and three. So just to place this down here. So for row three, we have three 
double crochet clusters or tiles, boxes, whatever you, per, your preference is to call them. So this is, we've got one for row one, two for row two, and three for row, uh, row three. So we're going to do another increase round and during for this increase round we will have four double crochet clusters for row four and we'll do that by turning our work and once again we're going to chain six so one two three four five six okay so we're going to double crochet into that fourth chain from the hook and double crochet in the remaining two chains. Goodness, my hands just don't want to cooperate. Okay, so we've got this next tile here and we're going to join it to the body of the work by slip stitching into the chain space of the adjacent double crochet cluster. So going into that chain space and slip stitch to join. Okay, so then we're going to chain two and place three more double crochets into that chain space there. So let's go one, two, and three. And again, we're going to join to the adjacent uh, cluster with a slip stitch into the chain space. And we're going to chain up two to create the next cluster. One, two, and then again placing three double crochets into that chain space. One, two, and three. And now we're going to join into the adjacent cluster with another slip stitch into that chain space. Okay, and to create our fourth uh, cluster for this round, our row, sorry, we're going to chain up two. And again, we're going to place three double crochet stitches in addition to your chain two into that chain space. So one, two, and three, and we'll turn our work. So here we've got the end of row four, and we've got four double crochet clusters. And so now I'm going to show you how to uh, do your decrease round or row. So to do our decrease row, we're going to I uh, like chain one here, and then we slip stitch into the end of each double crochet from your last cluster. So I just slip stitch up the stitches here. Sorry, my yarn's tangling. And then we're going to chain up two. And we've got a chain space here. It's hard to, kind of hard to see, but we've got our chain space. And we're going to place three more double crochets into that chain space. So there's one, two, three, and then we're going to join this block to the rest of the work with a slip stitch into the chain space of the adjacent cluster. And now I'll put this down and just show you that by doing what we've just done, we have now created a second corner to our work. And so we're going to begin decreasing on this side um, and we should have um, three clusters on, onto this round. So to create our next 
block we're going to chain up two and place three double crochet stitches into that chain space of the um, cluster underneath. And here's our third double crochet. And again, we're going to join into the adjacent cluster here with a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain two to create our next cluster. And another three double crochet stitches will be placed in the chain space of the cluster underneath. Okay, so now that we've finished that cluster, we are going to slip stitch into the chain space of the cluster next to it. All right, and we're going to turn our work. So now we've created a second corner um, and I'll show you how we're going to continue to decrease. So we're going to slip stitch across the top of the, of the uh, stitches of the cluster we just finished. So we'll slip stitch one, two, and three. And then we're going to turn our work like this and chain up two. One, two. And then we're going to place three double crochet stitches into that chain space of the last cluster. So one, two, and three. Okay, and then we're going to join with a slip stitch to the next cluster and chain up two. And we'll place three double crochet stitches into that chain space underneath. One, two, and three, and slip stitch into the neighboring cluster there. And so before we continue, I'm going to just put this down and again show you that now our little swatch has one, two, and three corners and we've continued to decrease each row and we now have two clusters for the last round. So we're going to finish off our little swatch here and make the fourth and final corner. So we are going to turn our work and we're going to slip stitch across the tops of the stitches of the cluster we just completed. So there's one, two, and three, turning our work and chaining up two. Okay, and then again, we're gonna place those three double crochets into that chain space. One, two, and three. So then we're going to slip stitch into that last, uh, that next um, block, goodness can't speak, and um, you can turn your work and slip stitch to the corner. Um, it's not really necessary, but I like to do it for um, continuity. And there you go. There is your little um, square swatch. And you can see that we now have a four by four square. And that's how you do your basic corner to corner. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. If you like free crochet patterns, please check out my blog, www.theloopylam.com. Thanks so much for watching. Happy hooking, and I'll see you next time.